once you get logged into your Tax 1099 account, you will start, start over in the recipient section. Up top, you would choose the payer that uh, you want to do a 10 match on. So I have a couple of pairs, and if you look to the side, I'll let you know that the 10 status has not been activated for any of these pairs. Select one for now. And then over here, we're gonna click on the request 10 match. So it will ask you if you wanna 10 match all recipients or 10 match the selected recipients. You can do either one, the bulk 10 match, you can just click on all recipients, or if you know you just need one or two, you can just check the box and click on 10 match selected recipients. We will do all for this video. And it's just letting me know that I have five recipients selected so we will click on proceed now here we have two different options we have a 10 a real 10 real-time 10 match and a regular 10 match the real-time 10 match it will cost one dollar per recipient and the results come back immediately the 10 match it costs 37 cents per recipient and it will come back within 24 hours. So on this video, we will click on the real time 10 match. Then you will click on proceed to request the 10 match. The billing t details will let you know that since they're a dollar a piece, we selected five, it's $5. Um, you do have to calculate the sales tax. So put in your physical address, your email address, and then just click the blue calculate sales tax. Most of the time, the amount will stay at zero dollars because not all states charge sales tax. Then you can click on prepay now. I have money in my prepay wallet, so um, the funds were taken out of there. If you do not, it will take you to a screen where you would ch uh, choose credit card, put in your information and click pay from there. Now, I'm going to click back on the dashboard to go to the main screen. Um, I will let you know where you can find the results for your 10 matches. To so go back to the receipt recipients, choose that payer again. So once you choose the payer, you can just click on that name and it will let you know the status. This one was rejected. And it's because I know that the name and the social security number attached to it, it was made up for testing purposes, so it was rejected. Other reasons, there was a typo. When you type in the social, you spell the name wrong. Um, if it's a business, the EIN could be too new. It takes at least 14 days, but this is one of the sections where you can find the results. Another section is to click on reports over here on the left side click on the 10 match report choose the date so we'll just keep it from the 12th through the 19th select all the headers and it will export to excel after you choose a payer then we would just click on 10 match reports And here it will let you know the payer, the ID, the recipient name, yes or no, they were matched, um, the date that it was matched. So here's another section where it will show you the results of your 10 match. That's the end of this video. Thank you and have a great day.